Hi, today Cisco made three announcements tied to our DLP solutions. Uh, one of those, the email security appliance with new DLP capabilities, the other web security appliance with additional DLP capabilities, as well as a DLP assessment service. So all three strengthening our DLP solution stack. But one we'll share with you today is some of the data from a survey we did late last year around data loss, best practices inside organizations. So we talked to organizations, both users as well as IT professionals, about some of their concerns. And what we found, 51% of organizations thought users were being much more diligent in their efforts to protect data. Very good news. That same group said that 39%, or at least 39% of them, were concerned that their users might be the most risky place they could disclose data. Most of those negligent, not malicious. So good users doing the wrong thing with data could cause the data to be lost. When we asked what were the top concerns as far as how the data might get lost, email came in at 25%, so near the top of the stack for an organization's concern how they would lose data. And if you look at a typical organization, uh, data from Deloitte says that of the storage requirements, 25% of that data is storing email. So clearly there's a tremendous amount of email in motion in an organization as well as stored that has DLP concerns around it. Then we ask organizations, you know, when they have data loss instance, what happens? And one of the, what we found was seven in 10 organizations had attributed inappropriate application use or web use to over half their data loss instances. So clearly, uh, you know, not only email, but also inappropriate applications as well as web, or web usage can lead to data loss prevention. So, you know, these studies combined with what we're uh, announcing today really reinforces our ability to help our customers deal with, you know, email and web as a key data loss uh, pain point.